the final persona that I wanna go through is a finance admin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how Planning Center Home could possibly help you as a finance admin in your ministry work. So first, when you log into Planning Center, again, you see my dashboard. These are the things that are most important to you as a finance admin. Now, in finance, you're probably mostly focused on giving, week to week, tithes, offerings, funds, etc. You also might be in registrations a little bit, making sure that people get refunds or whatever else happens there. I'm clearly very knowledgeable about that. But anyway, you're probably just in a couple of different places. Maybe you also are involved in some workflows from people. So this dashboard could probably pre be pretty simple for you. I have this set up for Francis, our finance admin, uh, to show uh, my tasks, so anything that I need to follow up on. I also wanna see all of my newest donors, so the people who are participating um, in the church ministry. Uh, recurring donations, uh, these are things that, just to see what money is coming in. Batches in progress, so anything from this last Sunday. And then just a couple of metrics things. So just things to keep a general eye on, donors, total donated. I can always add and subtract widgets from my dashboard. So I can add a widget, select a product. This will only show you what products you actually have access to. So as a giving admin, maybe it's just giving in people. You can go through, add a widget here. So I'm gonna go ahead and you do the people one. I'm gonna do workflows. Oh, I don't have any workflows. Let me do a different one. Let's do registrations, recent registrations, just in case. Add a widget, ta-da, almost ta-da, great. Move things around, great, that's my dashboard. All right, as a finance admin, there are a lot of things going on that you are responsible for. Some of those things come up as, as things do, and some of them are week to week. So. Tasks is gonna be a great place, especially for a more regimented schedule for you to manage some of those things. So as a finance admin, I have a couple of different lists going on. First though is my tasks. These are the things I'm responsible for. So I have it organized so that I can see the most important things that I have to get done right at the top. I need to print the elder report for Bob because Bob does not have a computer and so he needs some paper. So I've got to print stuff out for Bob. I also have uh, my tasks organized by list. So I could see, okay, these are the things that I need to do regarding missionaries. These are my inbox. This is the admin team. So those lists, I have set up a couple of things just for me. So I have my weekly finance tasks. I am all caught up because I'm very on top of it as Francis is. Um, those are the things that I'm doing week to week. I'm create, constantly creating a new list, okay? I also have a team uh, set, a list set up for all of the admins at our church. So anyone who's an admin at the church, we have a shared list for things that are just admin-y things. It's like, we've all got to do it. We've all got to sort through the duplicate profiles. We all have to submit an end of month attendance report to Susan, who has not had to do that. Am I right? Uh, so we all have the admin list together. Okay. But for those weekly finance tasks, I also have a template. So I don't have to create those task lists every week. So I always, every week have to count the ca cash and check offerings. I have to do the budget review and accounting. I have to pay the, out the invoice for the cleaners, all of these things. Um, and I don't want to make a special list every time. So I can create a template and then go in here, create my weekly finance tasks for next week. Ta-da! Great, now I have a list and all of my due dates are related to when I created the list. So I set things up so that when I create the list, it, the certain tasks are due based on relative due dates, you get it. Okay, so that's this list. So how do tasks get onto this list? A couple of different ways. You can add a task, toolbar, slides out, pretty straightforward. You can also create a task based on an automation. So let's say we go over to giving, and here you might be familiar with what your reports dashboard looks like in giving. I'm gonna go over to manage, go to automations. I can set it up so that something 
when someone gives for the first time, then I can add a task. So in this case, I made an automation so that whenever someone gives for the first time, then I get a task to send them a thank you note. Pretty straightforward, just, hey, thank you so much for giving. Uh, I also have a task so that when someone sets up a recurring donation, so when they decide, you know what, I'm not just giving once, I'm giving many times. I also wanna send them a thank you note. So I have tasks set up so that when those things happen, they automatically get put on to my list. All right, so that's one way that you can get tasks over here. Another way is as you are going about your work, you can also go over to, oh, you know what? I wanna show you another automation. Um, whoops, great. Uh, you can also set up so that in registrations, if someone cancels their registration event, you can set up an automation to tell you to submit a refund when they cancel that registration, which could be really helpful, helpful as a finance admin, especially if it's for an event that you're not really involved in, you just get, need to get a notification. You can also set up that automation here. Okay, uh, again, as a finance admin, now you might be working specifically with your team, but there are a lot of things going on at your church. So from this toolbar, you can always check your notifications, you can manage your tasks from here. Okay, you can see all of the tasks that are related to you, check out your inbox, all of that. There's also this little icon for chat. Now, you might be not be using chat uh, for your work, but you might be participating within a group, or let's say that you're scheduled to be a volunteer in services. You'll see any of your team conversations here in the sidebar and also your group conversations, and you can participate from there. So, that is how you might be using home, the dashboard tasks, and the toolbar as a finance admin day-to-day, week-to-week.